two number five foxglove cloak situated in Huntington. Just a stone's throw away from the Colton Valley Nature Reserve with some great walks that can be taken. You're also convenient for the River Dee, Sainsbury's supermarket and getting into the city as well. We're stood on a driveway, it's quite an elevated property, so there is a sloping driveway up to the garage, but what it does give you is fantastic elevated views, particularly on the first floor. So you can get two or three cars on this driveway, and there's a well-kept front garden with nicely, nicely done borders. I say the garage and the entrance porch just here. The entrance porch just had a new uh, flat roof, a rubberized flat roof on there as well. So that's all been done recently. You've got steps up to the front door. Foxglove Close is a small cul-de-sac, not many houses in, in here, so it's quite a quiet close, quite sought after as well. Into the entrance porch. Got all your meters as you come into the right hand side, a UPVC double glazed entrance door. And then this really bright westerly facing living room. The sun has just come out and there's a huge window to the front. So lots of natural light coming in at about four o'clock in the afternoon. You've got your living flame coal effect gas fire with a nice bit of granite down here. Stairs are going up to the first floor. And then there's these double timber and glass doors which carry the light through to the dining room. So nice dining space. You have got the scope though with the kitchen being next door to perhaps open it up if that's the way you like to live. And then you've got sliding doors, patio doors and the double glazed through to a good sized conservatory which overlooks the back garden. There's double doors here which give you access to the garden. I'll show you outside now. So the garden's a good size, nice and well enclosed, not particularly overlooked. As you look upstairs there's a nice view here where you get the natural sunset to the west. So this would be a nice sunny evening spot where I am now. There's a large timber shed um, with a corner decking area which gets more of the midday sunshine. And then you've got personal door access into the garage. The garage which again has been re-roofed like the porch and a timber gate to the front of the house with a further door that takes you into the kitchen. So good sized conservatory. You could easily have this as your dining space, but I think I quite like it as a bit of a second seating area. So nicely carpeted all the way through, and then we come through to the kitchen, where there's a fitted range of light beach effect built-in units with the chrome T-bar handles, and there's a Worcester central heating boiler. There is actually a hot water tank upstairs, so it's a conventional system rather than a combi. Um, I've got the same myself and find it quite useful when you've got particularly children, you want to run a couple of baths, having the tank gives you a bit more capacity. So you've got plumbing for washing machine, stainless steel ledge electric oven, gas hob, space here for a fridge freezer, and there's another tall unit here, um, good for storage, etc. So you've got further door to the side, and then we go back into the dining room through these lovely big double doors. I say nice, spacious, open plan living room. And then the same carpet flows up to the first floor. And then the first thing I'll show you when we get up here is this fantastic view from the landing window. The valley, the Coldy Valley Nature Reserve is just across there. So you've got a lovely view first thing in the morning when you come out of bed. And then with three bedrooms, so the master bedroom, of course, being at the front of the house with this built-in range of quite extensive wardrobes. So it actually recesses into the wall. You've got matching ones here um, with the mirror and the, and the built-in drawers and desks and then the built into the corner with matching bedsides. So really extensive built-in furniture in here. Another large window and it's just cleared up enough. Again, you've got a great elevated outlook and to the west you can see the town hall and the cathedral from this front bedroom window. That's a nice spot you're really looking over the estate. I say the wardrobe's being quite neutral, they're inoffensive. You've got your airing cupboard here, which has got the hot water cylinder in there, and lots of lovely linen shelving for getting your clothes drying in the, uh, in the winter. Bedroom two, currently got a single bed in here. I think a double bed would only come out to about here, so it could be a double bedroom quite easily. And again, Another elevated view overlooking the back garden, other gardens and onto the nature reserve. And then bedroom three, currently set up as a study. But it again, would make a great single bedroom, but perfect as a study. And say, just an interesting, interesting elevated view. Loft access is off the landing. And then the bathroom is here at the back of the property with a white three-piece suite, all really clean and serviceable, under, under storage here, all in white gloss, so again, completely neutral. And there's an electric shower just over the bath. Some nice grey vinyl flooring and a heated towel rail. What I like as well is it's got two windows in, 
This house is all about natural light. So it's not the brightest of days, but you wouldn't think it in this house. So if you'd like to book a viewing on the property, give us a call at Current Homes on 01244 313 900. Thanks for watching.